Biafra, uh, fearless Biafra evangelist, Ramalo. I hear Gabo, if you go to Ritata, I hear Chobuku Nunya in Tono, Nina, on the menu coffee to be an obu, Nukumara, to be a. I had to make a name, a Mazenam de Cano, Union Dwai, Una, a Dwayne and Jem Cano, named the Tata. Make a name as Chicky, the Zemo, and Chicotai, na Mpagara, and the Director of State. Make a name quasi, the Director of State, Nina, and then a Bombo Macamuru, and Kaino Nimia. Maneke nezi kutu mwuchi neke, ndene tinye kuna njema, ndene tinyu kuhije, ndene tinye, bere, wendene, bere, bere, wendene achua aja, maka njema. Weneke ne kwa umuna indeno ni mwafia, wene abambo ifu na ndiro, eme bigana ma biafra. Bo the men of Eastern Security Network Command, and neke nunu nine. Maneke ne kwa sa, ndena kwa sozi ni ugwe, ugwe kwa inkebro nido biafra. Mandena ego siru hane, ego siku waniru wako kwa na basa kuhozi, kana bo media warriors. And Masika Chuku came a gozelem ununi never won no way nakily before New York. A buco, Nebu Gani, Oga Masam come one day woke, Munanabo and Nero, and Abo and Abogo Mafia, Ka Oko Muya, Makene, Omobia to fire Ganiru. I get you as a subeke, where Tapia Boku, Nihina, Niacholi, Patata, Bumuki, his Sidike, Erandisuna, Menuku Mada Tibia, Nuku Fiti, and Obu Nuku Mada Chubia, Bikoma Zimada Buchuku. Egu ankuroga, or egu akuru, oge egu eke, operation Python dance. So ye kuli ya, usi nefere egu, wana yungoke mazi, abalanzi, wanyye kachukuo keke. Na hane egu aye, sinu awo egu eke, makabiafra. Manongu li hitatara, ya bekeji biya bwana banyi. Ni inka agma, oga masim, ka ike ne, ndene ganyi nti, mandene kili aye. Ganyi ni wane mu. Nde wu, mazi. Nde wu. I thank you for this very uh, opportunity because it is a, a call to service that we must answer. And yes. We answered it and we are proceeding. We are proceeding. And uh, let me once again call my name, introduce myself, then I move with the question. Thank you. Um, good evening, fellow Biafran. From my um, area, I am fearless. I to be evangelist. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiriba province, Biafra land. I am here, and so many of us are here. Also, some are in abroad. We are working together to achieve one goal. Thank you, Mazi. Let me go direct to this very um, question concerning the. Python dance. What actually led to the Python dance, we don't even know. Just that, that some people, politicians, was feeling that we are taking their glory or somehow that with us, they are no longer existing. That was why they missed that very opportunity that IPUB presented to them to recover every of their lost in which they cannot be boldly to demand for. During the kidnapping of Nandikan from Motla Mohammed Airport, Lagos, which happened on the 12th of October, but they refused to announce it, 12th night, then on the 13th night, um, the then Deputy Director of Radio Biafra announced it, and on the 14th of October 2015, Nigeria now publicly announced that Mazin Nandikan is in there detention in first sort of first headquarters in Abuja before they move into DSS. So during then we were protesting on our stand, which is self-determination. We back on peaceful protest for the release of Mazin Amdekano. On the process, we are we continue we started securing victories. We started securing victories in Nigerian courts. Not that we went to court and we were defeated. No. From 2015 and that is why I always tell them, start this matter from the beginning. You don't jump into 2020 and start tagging IPUB, political, sponsored, or artificial insecurity, which Hopus Odema is the head of insecurity. If you want to talk about IPUB, give us our account from at least, even if you cannot touch 2012 or 20, give us our account from 2015 when he was kidnapped. 2015, 2016. In 2017, not when Mazinam Kano was attacked to be killed and 28 men died in his house. Nigeria now tried to back up their action by 
um, prescribing us without even following the due proceeding. Then on that, they started building insecurity to target on us because they failed in killing our leader. So they, in, in fear, they thought we would have retaliated in some other way. So they rushed to target us terrorists through the politicians from the East, which would be not read it out. So let me go back. I know why I touch here. Let me go back to the um, IPOV protest because they must explain what we actually did that warranted the Python dance. Because if they didn't explain, they can still do it again. If they explain, if we offended them, then, then this time around, we'll not do it. So let us ask them after I have touched these places. So we started peaceful protests to free them the Canada. The first protest was in Bayesa. None was killed among us, but we jumped into swamp. They arrested many of us, about 200 inside their trailers, and later released us within one hour time. We went home and applied Plan B, which is protest from your states. No longer join in a place from different states. No, protest in your states. Plan B, we started protesting peacefully, no arm. Nigeria started attacking us. From there, they started killing us. So not that we were protesting just that or, or illegally, lawfully. And on the 17th of December 2015, Mazen Amkano was discharged unconditionally by Honorable Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court of Abuja. Then Nigeria refused to obey this court order. We continued to protest. We entered 2016. They handed the case over to the court of um, John Soho of the Federal High Court of Abuja again. John Soho Reaching in March 2016, he discharged Mazen can unconditionally again by a federal high court. Nigeria refused to obey this court order. And before then, IPOB members that have that gathered in National High School Laba on the 9th of February was massacred by the Nigerian Joint Joint, Joint Task Forces. Every of their forces was there. What was the reason? We don't know. We gathered there to pray, not protest, gather in a school to pray. Remember that. Namdekan have already been discharged in December 2015 before we gather in that place to pray in February 2016. That is to say, we were extra judicially killed by Nigerian states. Now, they moved this case of Namdekan because we want to know what we committed that brought to the Python dance. We don't even know. So, if you cannot explain it, I don't know what you give me now until you explain the Python dance. Because next time you can still even call me. That is, I don't know what they will call me the next one. So now they took this case to the court of Ahmed and Ahmed. He told them not to bring this kind of case to his honorable court, that they should move this case. They should go back and obey the previous court ruling. And on that, they refused to do so. They moved to Bintanyaku. Bintanyaku, as he tried, she tried to go on secret trial, and Namdekanu said no. She ended up um, granting Namdekanu high conditional bail. I'm just rushing it so that we will reach to that point. The main, the main point. Granted, Magnum kind of there. Now, John Soho, um, Ademolas is a, a, a precise over a federal high court sitting in Abuja. John Soho, a federal high court sitting in Abuja. Ahmed Mohammed, a federal high court sitting in Abuja. Bin Tanyaku, a federal high court sitting in Abuja. And these three federal high court have freed them the kind of because the, uh, John so um, Ahmed Mohammed referring them to obey the previous court ruling means that he have support. But he support the judgments. That is to say, three three discharges from the court. Automatically, it is like it's just like the judge did stroke out that case. It have no meaning to present an Amkanu's case in the court of Ahmed Muhammad. So, Bin Tanyaku, who saw this judgment from her fellow fellow court in Abuja, she ended up granting high conditional bail. Now, upon that, Mazin Amkanu, Nigerian Army, now they went. They didn't wait until the death of what they send army to go and kill our leader and on that we refuse to retaliate so the nigeria the um, governors and the politicians on hanes and Dibo, led by niyamoto and the governors here led by devil man they brought that those army because mazinam can they called mazinam can to enable for negotiation for meeting not from detention from his house that is why this one is different Mazinam Kanu was freed, let us say on bear. Then they, he now relaxed, moved to places he wanted to move. Before they call him, they gathered in Enugu with his own 
free. He was free. He was free, though he was in the enemy's midst, though he took them as their own. But it, they, unfortunately, they turned to show that they are still in him by tagging us terrorists without any offense. Now, because before they tag us terrorists, they have killed us in um, Mpoh, 29th through 3rd May, 2016. They killed us in um, Iguacha, 20, okay, 20th of January, 2017. They now killed us in uh, Faroku. They now killed us in 2017 again. That is Python dance. I don't want to move forward. If we reach to that place, I will touch it, both in and every, every other area. But let us now pin on the very attack in his house. Nothing, nothing, we raise no dust that warranted the attack in his house. They granted him high conditional bail. The three men that was involved, a Jewish rabbi, dropped one million, one hundred million, a business, Igbo business billionaire based in Abuja, dropped one hundred million, a senator from his state, Abalibe, dropped one hundred million, and the bail condition was 12 bare conditions against a man who two, three courts have freed already the same federal high court in Abuja. So after they now sent the army to come and kill us, after freeing them the gun, they sent the army to come and kill us and kill them the gun and kill everybody there. Unfortunately to them, they didn't get in the gun by the help of our creator. He was saved. So now they went and the tag us terrorists upon on the chances we created for them. During our protest, we expected these three leaders to say, if Fulani called them on Nigerian state, call them and say, tell IPOB to stop. They are supposed to say, okay, I, I think you have to finish the second Niger bridge. Let us talk to them. If they call you again, you say, okay, build international airport for them. If they do this and we continue, you say, okay, what you do now, open seaport for them. These are things we expected from these people. But if govern, if the Nigerian state called them, they said they are our children, we will stop them. And when they failed these people, these people was on their neck. When they presented the demand from our people through Mazenam the Khan, they presented it to the federal government. The federal government was on their neck and said, the same people you say you will stop, you are now obeying Nam the Khan. That's when they reversed. They told them, don't you know what to do? They now come for quite on that. So that is where I'll just stop for now. Then let us continue. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you very, very, very much, Madam Mazi, Madam Chuku Machuku. Um, you, you know the story, time and date, and uh, you are doing perfectly well um, in educating our people, and I want to appreciate you once again for that. But before I go on to discuss this important issue that is facing us right now, because if you look at every tabloid, if you look at every news, if you look at every newspaper headlines across the globe right now, what you see is that five states, uh, five uh, Southeast governors uh, uh, meet and they plan to move to meet the president to free Mazenam the Kano. So that is why I say we should write our own history with our, by our own self, with our own pain. We must to set the record straight that people that hear that about this movement should know what these same governors has done. Though one out of them is among the people, but the, the other force are new governors, namely Abia State Governor, Enugu State Governor, and Abia State Governor, Enugu State Governor, Anambra State Governor, and uh, a boy state governor. These are new governors that just got into power. But their, pre their, their predecessors, they were the people that actually gathered to do the evil that has before our people. So when people see it, some people are saying, yes, the governors are doing well, they are doing well, they are doing well. We want to set the record straight to them as a mother, Michuku, Michuku, that our children and children's children may understand what happened before the governors get involved. Because when you hear, when somebody who doesn't know the story, hear that the governors are getting involved, they'll be saying, they'll be clapping for them. Hey, our governors are doing well. No. No. It, it is the five governors of the Southeast that have, that have, that have, that have, um, that have planned, that, that have, that have sowed the seed, that have grown to kill their own people. And we must explain it to the whole world. 
But before I go on, I want to give a special shout out to one special person that I love so much. Our sister, Carol Monday. If you see this woman anywhere in the world, please buy her one bottle of Hennessy. She's a good woman. That is where my shout out is going to today. Carol Monday. I, 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 thank you. I joined this program, I joined this movement, and I saw Carol Monday. She is a white woman. She's very, very kind. She's been working day and night, 247, to support and make sure that this movement is going on. Up to this moment, she's still in the struggle. She doesn't make noise. That is why I want to say a very big shout out to you, Auntie, Sister, Mwada, Mommy, Carol, Monday. May Chukwu Kebema continue to bless you. As you are fighting for the restoration of our nation, Chukwu Kebema will fight your battle. Thank you very much. So, dear friends, help us to appreciate our sister, Mwada, uh, Madam Carol, Monday. So, as we move on, we have two, two agenda, very, very important ones to discuss. The first one says, how the prescription of IPOB by the Eastern governors invite the Nigerian soldiers into Biafran land and massacre many Ndibo and Biafrans at large. The second one says the five Eastern governors now want to go for the release of Mazen Namdekano after three years of their failed attempt to stop IPOB and the, uh, uh, to stop IPOB and the sit at home in Biafran land. Mazi, you see these two topics. They, 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 they connected they connected interwoven, but we are going to go for the first one. Now, the arrest of Mazen Namdekano, the kidnap of so many Biafrans, the massacring of uncountable numbers of our people was caused by this by the governor from east, from uh, uh, five governors from the southeast, namely Obiano, Willy Obiano, if Fanyi. Uh, plus Rochas, Okorocha. These are the five governors that actually sat with Ohanes Ndibo, led by Nyamudu, the former um, Ohanes Ndibo president. These are the people that sat and discussed and planted that operation python dance that have killed uncountable numbers of our people mother Bushu Wachuku, my brother we must be setting this record straight we will be making sure that our children and our children's children will read the history because internet never never forget they will read the history and they will know the truth of what has happened to us we are denied access to understand what happened to our parents we were not allowed to read in the history about the war that took over 5.2 million of our brothers and our sisters but this this generation thank god for facebook thank god for mark zuckerberg thank god for elon musk thank god for these people who have given us this platform to speak and to set the the, the, the record straight now you cannot talk about the governors coming to free Mazen Namikano without talking about what brought the kidnap of Mazen Namikano. I don't know if I'm making sense. Because something happened, something must have triggered the arrest of Mazen Namikano. When Good Luck Jonathan was on seat, Mazen Namikano was not a, a, a arrested. Mazen Namikano was only using Radio Biafra, sitting in Iwacha, in Anambra, in Enugu, broadcasting, you know, governizing, talking to our people about our freedom. He did not carry gone he did not kill anybody he did not arrest anybody he did not disturb anybody so all these things happened during the time of good luck jonathan until the late buhari came into power the government of buhari started chasing after ipob and the, in their constitution there is a passage that gives right for self-determination in the constitution of african charter there's a passage that gives right for self-determination even in united nations but they ignore it. They thought they are going to use their bullets and their gun to stop us. Little did they know that the people they are seeing now, 95% of us are the reincarnation of the people, of the 5.2 million people that, they were, that were massacred. We come back to finish that which we were killed for. We've come back to complete that assignment which Chukwu Kabiyama created us for. And they killed, they killed us a mass. Now, Mazi, I want you to talk about this prescription. Prescription 
the, the, the simplest meaning or, uh, or, or dictionary meaning or interpretation of proscription is that they have banned us, banned activ our activities, tagging us terrorist group. That is proscription. Now, Mazi, if you go to the northern counterpart of these governors, Boko Haram that is bombing and killing people, that is already being proscribed internationally, worldwide, we are not proscribed by their governments. Miyeti Allah, that are killing people with their cattle, destroying people's crops, kidnapping people, asking for ransom, we are not proscribed by the counterpart of these governors from the east in the north. They did not proscribe them. They did not even talk about them. But these are two organizations that is recognized internationally as the number fourth and the number fifth uh, uh, most dangerous terrorist group in the world. But in our own side, we that are peaceful, uh, that are running our peaceful movement, only using our, our, our mouth, our radio and everything to talk about our freedom, our own governors stepped in to call us terrorists. Because when you say proscription, if there's a woman, an old woman or an old man who didn't go, who didn't understand what it means, listen, they wouldn't understand. It means proscription now. And now you know when your enemies call you, when your brother call you uh, a thief, your enemies can take you down. But if your brother protects you, your enemy cannot uh, come in. So let me allow you to dwell on that prescription that brought the death of thousands of our people and the kidnap of Mazen Nam Kano. And the reason why Anibu is what it is today is because of that prescription by the governors. Because while we have been, while we have been moving around, doing all we are doing, there was peaceful. IPOB go to different places to do what? To fight, to, 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 to galvanize when Mazen Nam Kano was, was kidnapped. To, to ask for his freedom. We were not carrying guns, we were not doing anything. Though they were fighting and killing us, we know they have been killing us. And they were forcing us to retaliate. We have not retaliated. We have not used any ammunition or anything to fight back. We were only using our radio station, our voices, and our, um, our, our protest for Mazi to be released. Until they now prescribe us. The number of people that have been killed in this struggle from the proscription of IPOB compared to the number of people that were killed before the proscription of IPOB is not the same. They have killed us so much after the proscription of IPOB. And the, so, the, part, the painful part of it is that the people that prescribe us are our own people, our own brothers, whom we are supposed to look up to. So, Mas, please go ahead and deal with this as we move on. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very, very much. You know, that, that is why when they, they talk about this, their negotiation going, I said, in my mind, I said, will you, you now negotiate with Namdekan without the prescribing IPOB? Because <laughs> will he sit before you with the prescription image? That is to say, IPOB must be deprescribed, which is part of what should be done. But yep. let me go on it. I don't give them life because that is number one. If you do so, our people will be freed from detention. It is part of negotiation. Everybody that is in detention because of their will be free. But I don't know what they are going. I will come to that when we come. I will analyze that one. So let me go. The proscription of IPOB was related to the leveling of our father's rebels, 1967 right in their defense because it wasn't war the war we didn't go to the north we didn't go to the yoruba land nigeria came to kill us here we were defending our land and we declare republic because nigeria forced us out of nigeria and we cannot be without protecting ourselves when you are doing how you know as you could say people have been that will not reject himself so nigeria pushed us out of nigeria they were pushing us out of north, not in life. They were pushing us out of north by killing us. Even as we are bringing our this black, they keep rushing here to kill us. So they push us out of Nigeria. They force us out of Nigeria. And we have to hold ourselves by declaring our name and have a name so that people can approach us with our name. We cannot stay without name. That's why we declare Biafra. 
has to have an address and that is our name and since then the very map have been there our father secured that map now with that very image of rebel they succeeded by dealing with our region here which is to say they use it to block the politicians from being bold to make demands when they make very critical demands that will benefit our people they will remind them that they were defeated in the war and they are rebels so we they started giving birth with giving birth to us with that image of rebel we grew with that image and we were unpresentable because they are every part of the world they can lock up us inside any cell they can lock us up inside any cell they can deal with us they can kill us anywhere in nigeria any place because they said we are children of red bell so now during the kidnapping of Nam de Kano in Madlam Mohammed for 2016, because that image, the British use it to succeed. Even with political posts in Nigeria, if you want to go, they will remind you you are a rebel. If you demand for something, they will demand you, they remind you you are a rebel. Ojuku discovered it. This was a pushback war. They used to use it as a blockage to against our people whenever they need good things. They will tell you you are children of rebel. So now, during our peaceful protest, it was the target of the British that when they kidnapped Nam de Kano, then that I feel we would retaliate because they were hearing about we will destroy Nigeria, we will destroy Nigeria. So they wanted to see, they expected to see our weapons when Nam de Kano was kidnapped because we, did, we, we beat them. If it is football, we triple the British flag. They said they are wise. But through our resoluteness and consistency, we triple them. And it affected the very rebel. I will explain, I'm still explaining the rebelling, the leveling of our fathers. Our actions clean our face. Let me continue. So when we started protesting, the British expected gun. We didn't come out with gun. We protest more. We didn't come out with gun. They said, okay, go and kill them. Let us see if they will come up with gun. They killed us. We didn't come up with gun. The British knew that they're missing it. We got it again. They kill us, we didn't come up with guns. We still go with peaceful protests. They said no. They said, okay, let them forward to court and see if they can change him. That one fell. They said, what we we'll do now is that you have to free him, then go and kill him. If you kill him, his followers will retaliate. If you kill him, you tag them terrorists so that they will be overpowered. Because whenever they retaliate, no international community will come and help them because they already have the image of rebel. Uh, that um, um, terrorist. So it was a very, um, very serious plan to give us a, to renew the image, to renew the image of rebel. Because through our peaceful protest, we have cleaned that image. Through our peaceful protest, we are now presentable. We can approach any government in the world. We even say they can give us asylum with the name of IPOB because we protested peacefully. It was clearly good for us, and our people was also peacefully protesting in abroad. So it was clearing room for us. Automatically, it cleaned the faces of our fathers. Automatically, it cleaned our own faces. We became presentable. And the British was angry that we can now move for diplomatic moves. So they said, no, let us free him. Then label them, go and kill him. If you kill him, label them terrorists. The government do not even care whether Nandika was caught or not. Because when he was attacked, they were confused. They thought that the army have killed him. They don't want to say. They thought they don't. They don't know how it happened. So in the face, when Nigeria presented this prosecution to them, in the face, they told them that IPOB will consume them. So you, you cannot stop IPOB now that their leader, if their leader is attacked. What you do now is you proscribe them. If you proscribe them, the army will come and fight for you because the IPOB will overpower you if you if we kill their leader. That's how the Nigerian government hook it on their head and on their neck. They now say, okay, we'll do it. it then the Nigerian say, if you prescribe them, then we'll prescribe them. That was how it was done. And the way they prescribed us, they prescribed us without any retaliation. Because if we retaliated, it will not go down in the news. It will go very, very fast. That is to say, we cannot... You, there is no reason to proscribe us. This people will be proscribed. People will be shouting proscribed because we'll go for the bench. But they are 
of the in the house of the leader of indigenous people of Yaku. We didn't revenge. So because of their crime, they accepted the prostitution because they proscribed us in their as in their defense to put fear in us, to chase us away, so that we see ourselves as criminals, so that people will reject us, so that people will cut us off from communication, so that people will not talk about us. If politicians talk about us, they will mark him and say, you are protecting terrorists. So they want to keep us at the middle, at the middle, so that everybody will see us as evil. So they failed because there was no action. Action of IPOB that will demand, that will push you for prescription, the world will hear it because there is nothing the world had. And they were confused that people you attacked their leader. The next one we had was prescription. And that was why it was not accepted by any government in the world. So now they now saw it. They said, okay, now we have prescribed them and they, their leader. They were, they were even investigating to see if the army can leak the information how they keep the dead of Fernand Bekano or where they keep his head. As I people say, we didn't see him. The army said they didn't get, the army never give account at all. They were confused. They were afraid of Fukano. They were afraid of IPOB if Fernand Bekano was killed. They were afraid of Fernand Bekano if he escaped the death. So they were confused and the government used it against them. The governments now know that they are in high tension. If they sign that thing, immediately they come to kill us that the government, the political will be in very high because the government will tell them, they will not seek for help. The government will tell them, proscribe them so that we can come in. We cannot come in with the army. We cannot defend you with the army without proscribing them. And in your defense, if you proscribe them, then they will be afraid. You will be free. So, but they fell. How do they fail? They fell because they didn't get mad when they can then. Again, IPOB refused to retaliate. Again, was that the prescription was through them. Through them. Which is to say, they included themselves. Automatically, they destroyed the citizens coming up from that place, both on bond. Then, and so much people can never seek for peace without bringing back the image of their children. Because have destroyed the image of your children. That's why in one of my brokers the other day, I said, how can somebody look at my agitation for over a decade now, and somebody will go and beg for, for forgiveness, that somebody will forgive me? Are you forgiving me that I sinned? Did I cause Python dance? What did we do? What, what is the forgiveness? Was it the uh, on, um, unknown government that Hobo Zarema was hooked, uh, was um, uh, first, uh, that, is, that was the reason why Hope Zanema was made a governor because of unknown government. He's the originator of unknown government because it is in line with the kidnapping of unknown government that Hope, somebody must create a grant in his state so that they will use it as a blackmailing grant of IPO. So he provided the grant and that's why a making order was removed. So then the prescription of IPOB was a Signal to the world that we are right because we didn't retaliate. Now, these governors that did it, they have left office. You know, I told our people there is a way they play game. Immediately, Flani used them, discovered they don't have faith. They themselves discovered that they don't have faith because they will try to show themselves. They show, show, they see that people are bashing them, people hate them. They will not succumb. They will not look for good ones to correct their evil. That is why they are looking for politicians that have good, good image. They are going to House of Assembly to pick new, new ones, those new, new ones that have never had a, a, any comma on their face. They will still go to a traditional, they will still go to religious leaders. They will still come to them. But they know they have offended the people. And they cannot come out now. They mind cannot say anything. Okay, see, but cannot say anything. None of them can say anything. They now fronted this thing for the new ones to handle. These new ones. Let us just say that they are innocent of this very matter. But the kidnapping of Fernando Khan had been carried on before they came in. But they will be guided. Immediately they came in, they will be guided. They will send them guidelines how to maintain. And they will also be uh, guided to know how they want the matter to end. So everybody was notified how they want the matter to end.
And when they saw that IPOB did not approach in that very manner, that was why they are in this place. So, Marty, on the prosecution of IPOB, they condemned our land. And that gave the express rules for the army police to come and kill anybody and take our people. That was great. They created a chance. That is why they themselves that invited the army cannot tell them to leave. Because the army has told them that if we leave, your life is in danger. So, these people if you cry it tomorrow, they need the army. They saw the army as their defense. It's not affecting them, but the people are crying. So it is their defense. They will have employ more army because they offended the people. They offended the people. That is why they call for fresh faces now. Thank you, Mas. Let me drop here. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I like your analysis. I like the way you're pointing it out. You have done excellently well in regards to that. But now, let me throw more light in addition to what you have just said. And let me bring some shocking information that anybody that watched this program live as they heard right now will be glad that we make put this record straight and the person would like to rewatch it again save this program for future references because of what i'm about to say in regards to this prescription of ipob which opened the gate of hell that the enemies came into our land and started, and started killing us now Mazi, let me drop something here you see when Mazi started this struggle The Talakawas never believed that this struggle will last more than two years. They never believed that if it passed two years, higher three years, the, 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 the lifespan of this struggle to the Katalakawas, the, the Fulanese, the, 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 the northern oligarchy was highest four years that this struggle will die. That is why Obasan Job the ex-president of Nigeria says that we are miscreants. Or have you forgotten when they call us miscreants? I, I remember. Thank you. He said that Mazin Namdekanu is a boy. That we are miscreants. And I remember a publication on Vanguard that says that an evil man pay attention that an evil man cannot lock his shop to do freedom fighting for a long time. That is not possible. Now, Mazen Namdekano, being the right person that you will have sent for this job, already knew the people he is dealing with. He already understand the people that he is fighting against. He, he used only but his IQ, his number six, with his only voice and microphone to fight them. Anytime you hear Mazi say, I am going to destroy the zoo, I am going to destroy the zoo, they were afraid. They thought that Mazi Nanka was going to throw bomb. They thought that Mazi Nanka was going to bring that missile, that atomic missile that, they, that America dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That is what they were thinking. They do not know that the bomb that Mazi Nanka was talking about is only his words, truth, that he is going to use truth. To destroy the country, not not that he's going to throw bomb. Mazenanka do not have any bomb. Neither did he have any um, a, a atomic missile. Now, the shocking information is this: you see, when Mazen was arrested in 2015, they wanted to do something as a then. They believe that Mazen have not is not. Um, too much popular as a day. They thought that Mazin would play the play in their gallery like our brother was Rike. Their belief was that Mazin was going to play in the gallery because we are seeing Mazin as a hungry man whose father is not wealthy. But they forgot that Mazin has a, a mandate of repressing his people, and that mandate. Nothing can be equate with it. So there's nothing you can present to him that he will look at you. That is why they placed Mazi 
for good 60 days in communicado. They, they did not allow anybody to see Mazi in that 2015 that they, arrest, they arrested him. In communicado. Mazi, they only took him to court and Justice Adomala said this man have committed no crime. Let him go. They return the, they, they return Mazi. They do not allow anybody to visit Mazi. They do not allow anybody to see him. Mazi was like they kept him there in darkness. No information, no radio, no television, no newspaper, no nothing. The fearless evangelist, let me shock you. The reason why they did that was because they wanted to break him psychologically. They wanted to destroy him psychologically. That is why they do that. Because they did it to Wazurike, it worked for them. When they arrested Wazurike, they excommunicated Wazurike from his family, from his lawyer, from everybody. They kept him without anybody. If you come to visit Wazurike, they will dump you. They will not allow you to visit him. Then they now went back and they started telling Wazurike, did you see the people you are fighting for? None of them is asking for you. For you. None of them have come to visit you. But people were coming because an average evil man wants freedom. And whoever that is fighting for their freedom, they will love you. Anything you want, they will give it to you. Because we are, we are born with the principle of freedom. So now, was Rike staying with them without seeing anybody visiting him for the past one month, for the past two months? Ah, was saying, what, what is happening? Look at these people that they fight for. The same DSS came back to Owa to tell Owa, Ntogi, you see him, you are fighting for them. They have dumped you. They have moved on. They don't talk about you again. That is lie. That is a psychological game that you are playing with Owa. At the time, even if they want to allow somebody to see Owa, it is somebody that maybe one or two family members that they will not even give that person a chance to discuss to Owa, to tell Owa what is happening outside. They will stand with that person, give the person limited time. What I'm telling you is first class information. So Uwa was kind of seeing in that the, the people he is fighting for, he was fighting for then, have deserted him. One day, Uwa gave up. 90% of the people that are watching this program or that will still watch this program will do what Uwa did. I'm telling the gospel truth. It takes only but divine intervention of a man that was called for that purpose to beat such psychological plan uh, uh, psychological uh, 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 plan they did it to Masi. their Masi was not reading newspaper Masi was not even know what was happening outside now let me shock you do you know that when they couldn't handle it anymore is when ipob went to block river, uh, river niger bridge IPOB went to River Niger Bridge and blocked it completely. Say no motor will go in, no motor will come out for three good days, 72 hours. It sh shocked them. They said, No. Does it mean that these people love this man to this extent? The DSS, uh, the head of DSS as a then, who later died, you know, he later died. I don't know his name, I don't even want to know his name. Went to Mazen Nankan and asked him, Who are you? Nandikana told him I'm Mazenandikana. He told Mazenandikana, he said, do you know that your people have blocked River Niger Bridge? <laughs> for the first day, for the second day, he went to Mazen for the second day. When Mazen was narrating this thing to my hearing, Mazen said, the moment he heard that my people whom I'm fighting for have blocked River Niger Bridge, he said that Odiki Ike, one million of Atarianime, I want you to think. It's like they brought more power, more, more energy into him. His, think, he, his mental health become healed. Uh, his, his, his thinking capacity increased. Do you know why? Because that is to show that the people that he is there fighting for love him, like him, support him, and doing the needful. Don't forget that the first time he came out to the to, to court, he did, he did his, he, he raised his hand up like this. If you can remember. That is a sign. He did not speak. That is a sign. Fight on. Now, how to say this? 
they knew that Mazenan can have people who love him, who, who are fighting for him. They knew that they cannot tamper with him. Because their plan when they kidnapped him before was Kenya, Ethiopia, one poison, and Nicodia, maybe Eurasia, Hapusia. But already they have brought the issue of let us give you oil well. Mazi said, My own oil well, you can't use it to bribe me. I don't want. They told him, Okay, tell us anywhere. That is when they see the Mammoth crowd, the people that have brought the River Niger Bridge. That do you know that that three days Nigeria lost billions of money in dollar because there is no southeast state that operates even to the south south for three days no school no nothing everywhere was stagnant the southeast and south was stagnant because of that operation blocking of a of a head bridge they probably did not come come back to him and say we will give you vice president position of this country to give up what you are doing Martin man can say no I'm not interested in uh, your politics because you have played that game with Ochukwemeka or the the people's general. We saw how it ended. So I'm not interested in your politics. I am only interested in Biafra restoration. Give me Biafra or you kill me. Evangelist, I want to tell you that Mazin Namdekano, when he was finally sent to Kuja prison, seeing that people that were standing with him are very powerful. Mazenan Kanu, when he, he sent a message to me, he said, Pray, tell Biafrans to pray for Buhari to kill me, that Biafra may come quick. He shocked me. He said, President Lintin, said, Sir, he said, Pray and go and tell Biafrans to pray that, that uh, Buhari should kill me. So they will see what will happen. But don't forget that before he was arrested, something happened. Before Mazenan Kanu was arrested, something happened. He told the world, I am coming down. I am coming down. I am because they were they were sending their journalists to go and be attacking him, asking him questions when he was, you know, moving from one place to another, governizing and bringing our people together. They challenge him, say, if you are talking about, about our freedom, if you want us to support you, come here. If you don't come here, you are a liar, you are a thief, you are this, you are that. They even call Rendo Biafra to challenge him. He said, Okay, I'm coming. So that I am coming is what People do not understand the meaning of I am coming. And indeed he came. Because Mazi said he cannot fight for the freedom of our people from exile. He has to come down on the ground. If, if you use it to compare the idiot that is in Finland, that they're hiding in one basement in Finland, shouting water, 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 water. They have from this side in exile. They have that in exile. Touch the ground first. Now let the people see you. Let people know that you are indeed doing something before you begin to, to, to go and uh, go to exile. Mandela ran away, yes, to Nigeria before he later returned home. As he came back to Nigeria to take refuge, he went to Ethiopia. He went to Ethiopia. He went to so many countries and met friends and put the ground soft. Then went home to hand himself over to the to the government. That is what brought the end of apartheid, in case you don't know. So, Mazin Nankanu followed the step of governing our people, ministering to our people, evangelizing to our people. Finally, he announced of his coming. It's not as if he, he, he was sneaking in, no. And he came. What did he come to do? He came to establish the foot of this struggle on the ground. And he told them, I'm, I'm coming through Inter Monitra Mohammed International Airport. So their eyes was there. And Mazi came. They now apprehended Mazi. Do you know that America, United States of America, sent their uh, Secretary of State during Obama period to come and check if anything happened to Mazi Nam the Canon, what would be the outcome? They went to Joe. Achuzier, the late Joe Achuzier. Achuzier carried his two hands like this, hold the ears, told them, a man that moves like this and people follow him, a man that speaks only and people follow him, a man that is not buying water, buying food, buying, giving money to people to follow him. If he call for any gathering, people will use their money, pay their transport, close their shops, come and listen to him. Such man is not somebody he can just do anyhow with. 
Baha, Kokokum, don't try that man. They went to Igwe Nemekachebe. That is why I still respect Igwe Nemekachebe up to tomorrow. No matter what Igwe Nemekachebe do, I will still forgive him because he told them the truth. He told them, you people cannot touch this guy. He have massive followers. Don't forget that in 2014 was when sit at home, uh, it's not sit at home, when um, remembrance of our fallen heroes started. And the Biafrans came out in mass. In Enugu. Biafra came. People, people used leg to trek from Anambra to Enugu. If, if, if you have forgotten. Magic in group. So they saw that people are following this man. And you know they give them money. There's no president in Nigeria can move the kind of crowd Mazenan can have moved without paying anybody shishi. He said people were the one using their money to sponsor themselves. So now, to break it down, before I will now drop it as in the heart, that we may enter to the next version, the next uh, program. Do you know that when Mazenan the Kano was visited by the former governor of Abia State, the then governor of Abia State, Ojo Zokalo, something happened. Before Ojo Sokano visited Mazenan Kano, Ojo Sokano first visited his parents in Afaruku. He went to Afaruku. He told the father and the mother, I beg, make on a beg on a pekin, make on a pekin to stop what they do. Anything where you want, you go get them. Because Ojo Sokano was having a case, pending case with the Nigerian government. As at that moment, as at that time, there was money, a lot of money that Ojo Zokalu took away from the coffers of Abia State, spent, diverted it to his personal account and spent it. So they were showing him the documents, saying, see these documents, what we need is for you to go and convince this guy to stop what he's doing. But Mazin and the Kalu told him right in the prison, say, you cannot, never, talk me to stop what I'm doing. As Mazin and Kalu heard that Ojo Zokalu wanted to see him, he went and wore his Biafra Legaria. Did you see it? He saw the, the clothes that Mazenan can put on that very day. The design is just like this clothes I put on. It has Biafra color by the side. So now, Ojo Zokano seeing that he, the parents of Mazenan Kano were supporting the child because they say Mazenan Kano is a grown man. They cannot convince him, they cannot convince him to stop what he's doing. So if Mazenan Kano did it fit to fight for his people, he is the one who's supposed to stop, not us telling him to stop. And Ojo Zokano visited and later he left. He said, okay. I don't, have, I don't know anything I will do again. Now, Mazi, let me tell you this. Do you know that before the prescription of IPOB, something else happened? What happened was that when they released Mazi Namdekanu, they wanted to use all Nigeria tabloids to lie against Mazi Namdekanu. That is why Binta Yanko gave, her, gave him that stringent condition of no you cannot stay more than 10 people you shouldn't give any interview to any newspaper no journalist should interview you you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that this is a prince for God, for crying out loud the palace of the father is always been overcrowded when even when he wasn't there so giving him that kind of condition is because they don't want mazenan can to associate himself with the media do you know their plan their second plan was that they may begin to write that Mazenan can have collected bread and dump the struggle. It happened in my own eyes. I am speaking to you as someone who was there. They wanted to. Uh, the, if you look at Mazenan can, there's a newspaper that Mazenan can was holding. He was holding a newspaper. Somebody bought that newspaper and brought it to Mazenan can. I don't want to mention the person name from the palace anyway. The Mazenan can show me. Say, look at. See what they are writing about me. Do you know what they wrote? That Mazin Nam the Kano have run away. That he have run away. He's no longer doing Biafra. And you told him not to speak. And Mazin wanted to at least to abide to that their rules somehow. Not 100%, but at least somehow. Then what happened? They brought lie against Mazin using their tabloids. And Mazin went mad. Mazin said no. So they all actually asked me not to talk to the media and not to talk to more than 10 people so that they will be lying against me to dent my name and make their friends think that I've collected bribe. It will not happen. You see, every step that Mazi has taken in this struggle is a step forward. He has never gone backward. 
And every action that these people have taken against Mazi is taking them backward. Because of that publication, Mazi said, assemble all the medias immediately. Call, call this person, call that person, send this message. Let Rodo Rodo Biafra begin to broadcast about my coming because I'm coming to Abuja with two million people. And he said he's going to talk. That was that was when Mazi Nanka began to he, people will visit him, he talk to them, no video, no. He give instruction, nobody should. Do. But the moment he saw that he gave instruction, say, oh yeah, call some to, call Moses Abu, you, oh yeah, everybody, put on your camera, let us dig it. This is the kind of, this is the kind of leader that we are looking up to. This is the kind of the leader that is what our blood, that is what of, of us dying for. He said, we must begin to show the world the truth. That is when Mazenan can begin to tell the world about what the government want to do to, 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 to silence him and they dirty his name and destroy the struggle. They have tried it many times, you know, they work. Then after that, the next thing that happened is when Mazenan can make a statement, they don't understand that statement. They twist it. And they don't, because of, of Tarakawas, they, you know, their reasoning is quite different from our own. Then they now begin to lobby, begin to talk to the governors. Now this guy, then they control the region. No, that they run the region again, no. Because as at that time, the Mazen uh, uh, was given a bed. If there is any seat at home placed by IPOB, everybody obeys it. Sometimes governors will go and lock people's shop. You know, in Obogologo, former governor Yifan uh, Yokowa. Uh, uh, lock people's shop because they they do sit at home in any good state if i know why you lock people's shop because they they do sit at home the place they cannot do that is in onicha because if mazin nankan can control the billionaires the toknadus in anambra state because on the market is the biggest market in the whole west africa take it or leave it and second by Ari Ariaba. so if mazin nankan can give order and say we are going to sit at home but don't forget that before we, sit, we, 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 we adopted the issue of sitting at home, we were protesting. Every time we are doing that, we go out to a place. But at the time, they begin to kill us. As they are killing us, we will not adopt the, sit, the sitting at home method. Now, if Mazenan can say sit at home, all the billionaires importers in the Chaman market will sit at home. All the trillionaires importers in Aria Ariaba will sit at home. So the governors now say, wow, what is happening? I want to tell you what triggered that prescription of IPOB. So, they, 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 they were saying that Ibo man cannot lock his shop to do freedom fighting. But they found out that Ibo, Ibo men, not just those people they were calling Taut and whatever, are sitting at home. Including the billionaires among them were sitting at home. Uh, 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 the billionaires in Mkwane will sit at home, cl close their shops to honor our foreign heroes. The order from Mazen Namdekano. Nobody can try it. Now, because of all these, they see that they are no longer in charge of Southeast in, in total and part of South South, as they call it. They now begin to think, what are we going to do? Mazi, you said that they came to kill Mazi on that uh, Operation Python dance. But I want to tell you that they didn't want to just come and kill him instantly because that would have erupted, that would have brought war. That would have brought instant war. Because before the Mazi have told us, anywhere, any day you look for me, you didn't see me, any day I fall, burn down the zoo. And the people he gave me that instruction are standing by, they know. The government know. So what they wanted to do from intel that I have is that they wanted to catch him red-handed. Before they came, that is before even a, a, a prescription come, I'm, I'm talking, I'm telling you now. Before they prescribe, they attacked Mazen Nankano at Obakala. The day when Mazen Nankano was going to Yugocha to sit with all the, uh, all the uh, chiefs from all the, across the, across uh, uh, the riverine area of Biafra land. They attacked us at Obakala. Mazi, believe you me, what happened at that junction that very day, Nigeria government cannot, Nigeria army cannot talk, it, cannot say it finished. Because what they wanted to do is to intimidate we that are following Mazen Namikano and apprehend him. They want to capture him alive. And the, the intel says that they want to capture him alive and force him to sign off Biafra. Under duress. 
That is the information. Because killing him instantly, world war will start. The dead world war will start instantly because they know. So that is why, as they attacked him there, we already see the sign coming. We already see the sign coming. They say, okay, so they were attacked Mazen and the Kano, and we didn't announce it. We kept it low. The next thing the governors did was to see if they can bring Mazen and the Kano to Enugu State to come and uh, you know have one on one talk with the with the with them. Mas I was there. I went there. We went together. Getting there, the discussion didn't go well because they asked Mazen and the Kano, what do you want? What do you want that we should do for you to leave this? We are asking for uh, for restructuring of Nigeria. That is what Ohanesi told Mazi. That is what the, Biafra, the, the governors from the Southeast told Mazi. That what we want is restructuring of Nigeria. Not division of Nigeria. The Mazi told them. Did the Ojuku went to Aburi for restructuring of, for restructuring of Nigeria or for div, div, dividing of Nigeria? Ojuku went for restructuring. Did it hold ground? No. Did they obey? No. What happened? It resulted to the killing of 5.2 million people. So if you people are talking of restructuring of Nigeria, okay, go and get us the restructuring first. Then let us see how it goes. But the people that I am following, I must go back to tell them what I discussed with you people. I cannot give order, I cannot decide and be the chief judge at the same time. No. What I will do is Mazin Nankam brought out his phone and showed them the crowd, the Mammoth crowd that followed him to Abba, the Mammoth crowd that followed him to Owe, the Mammoth crowd that followed him to Iwacha, the Mammoth crowd that followed him to Eboi State. He showed them all the states from A to Z that they may know that he is not doing this on his own power, that he is, he is powerful because of the people following him. So they shocked. Then they announced, okay, and we are going to reconvene again. Then Mazi left. That reconvene was when they planned to kill all the people following Mazen and, and, and capture him alive. Yes. Their plan was all his security guard that you are following him should be every, not, none of them will be spared, but do not kill Mazen and can instantly. Mudi and Aka capture him. If you listen to the, 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 the chameleon, the chameleon, my brother, my brother, Mecha happier, uh, Anna Bo, um, 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 Fanny Coyote. He said that Mazin Nandekano uh, was uh, in, 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 in Nigerian Navy ship. If you can remember, I don't, I don't know if you forget Mazin. That is when Mazin was missing after the now attack. He said that he was there. So their plan was to capture Mazin, take Mazin to an unknown destination, force Mazin to sign off under perpetual torture and everything. And uh, that didn't work for them because they couldn't capture him in Umbakala. Then they planted all this in Enugu. In Enugu, Mazen and Nkano went once. The second time, Mazen and Nkano refused to go again because they planned to capture him and take him to an destination. But they want to they want to kill everybody following him. They want to make Mazen and Nkano use it that nobody can come close to him again. So what happened? They also failed because Mazen refused to go to have that meeting again. That is when the governors now come and pronounce that they have prescribed the activities of IPOB. Or, I, or, 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 or do you think that they would have prescribed IPOB and ask a man that they prescribed to come and sit with them? No. It was after their plan to capture him, do one or two to him, that fell. And do not forget that that very day that we went uh, to a boy state, before, uh, before the, the Operation Python dance began to dance in, our, in the Palace of Mazi, they stop us, ask us to go back to Enugu. They still want to capture Mars that very day. Mars, all this effort you see, we are to capture Mars. Because during the time of Obama, they have come to do research on the ground to check if anything happened to this man. Like, say they kill this man, what will happen? They knew it was going to be bomb. They knew it was going to be destruction. So that is why they were doing everything to disarm him to remove all the people that were following him and capture him and we refuse that we are not going to go back to Enugu. We, we, we are going to other states and we pass the road and wait it was a very big battle i don't want to talk about it now now see what happened was the the moment they they prescribed ipob that is when you 
you see the python begin to dance coming close to the palace and the people were afraid the prescription of ipob brought the attack of mazin namdekano in his palace and as they came to attack mazin namdekano we resisted them with nothing with bare hand for good one week two weeks they have tried to force themselves in no way we no agree they try again we, we try again we no agree until that very day that they come every other thing is happened to be a story now mazi as they couldn't also capture mazi alive that very day that is when fanika already began to tell the world that mazi nanka was captured and put in nigerian navy ship that is somewhere on the high sea you people can remember and nobody knows the whereabouts of mazi nobody knows where mazi was Mas, let me tell you now, that proscription of IPOB, like you rightly say, is the biggest crime that the governors from the Southeast have committed. Because they proscribe themselves, proscribe their children, proscribe their generation to come, proscribe the land of Biafra. When the people in the north, whose children are actually killing and committing evil, whom we are proscribed internationally, we are not able to be proscribed by their governors in Nigeria. Do you know that as I talk to you, Boko Haram is not, is not seen as proscribed group in Nigeria. Are you aware? That is why they changed the name from Boko Haram to, uh, to bandits. Nigerian government spent over $500 million giving all the news houses, all the media houses, don't call them Boko Haram again. From now, you should be calling them bandit, 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 because they know that that name Boko Haram is already in the database of the of 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 of, of, of international community as a terrorist group. And if you cannot deal with them, hey, my brother, I don't know if your network is the one that failed you. If you cannot deal with them over there, then why are you dealing with these people who have committed no crime? How can you be dealing with people who have committed no crime? But the people that have committed a lot of atrocities, you are not able to, you know, tag them terrorists. This is exactly what happened to us. And everybody should understand this. Now, I'm trying to see if I can bring Mazi Madabu Chuku back. I think his network has failed. Mazi, please, if you are watching, you can, you can request to come back again. So now, what happened is this. After that proscription, nobody knew the whereabouts of Mazen Namdekano. And that proscription of IPOB made me to know that it's not everybody that say, I'm a Piafran, I am brave, I am this, I am that, that is actually meant what they were saying. Because so many people ran away from Biafra land. A lot of people, some coordinators ran away. Some people didn't, didn't even want to associate themselves with IPOB again. And that was the original plan. Proscribe them so that they would be afraid, so they would not associate themselves with IPOB again. But I knew which really war. I say, it's not possible. There's no how you can proscribe people who are genuinely fighting for their freedom. People that have the right to talk about their freedom. People that the law of the country that proscribe them says otherwise about the prescription people that international community law says you are doing the right thing because the world is revolving around that what the, that uh, that organization called the uh, uh, united, united nation so any law you sign there as a country you are you are you are you, are, you have to obey it and it means that we are not uh, terrorists so all these things we are happening to our people at the end of the day what happened the oppression the pattern dance claim a lot of lives of our people. They hosted operation crocodile tears, hosted operation python dance. Crocodile was crying in a, in a, in a, in in the riverine area of Biafra land. Why python was, was dancing in the hinterland of Biafra land? But in the north, where the criminals are, where the the, the, the kidnappers are, where the the terrorists are, their governors we are shading them. Their governors, we are shading them. In the north, their governors, we are shading them. But down in our own side, the, our governors are the one killing us. So let it be, let it be on record that whatever you see happen to us from the time that we were proscribed, 
is as a result of that prescription against IPOB. Welcome back, Mazi Madaruchu. I think I have said a lot. So uh, I want the world to know that that prescription of IPOB opened the gate of hell. That is why thousands of our people we are in prison today. That is how thousands of our people we are killed. That is how why Mazen Namikano was kidnapped from Kenya and brought back to Nigeria. That is why you see everything going on back and forth, back and forth. And that is why the governors that did this cannot they cannot undo it or redo it. So now that they are talking about the freedom of Mazen Namikano, that they want to go and tell uh, the president to free Mazen Namikano, are they doing it on the ground that Mazen Namikano is no longer a terrorist as they attack him, or that they are doing it because they have failed to stop IPOB from functioning. So, Mazi, let us go to the second, uh, the second uh, topic that we want to discuss now, and that is about the five Eastern governors now want to go for release of Mazen Namikano after three years of their failed attempt to stop IPOB and the sit at home in Biafra land. So, I want you to give us your in-depth analysis in regards to this because we already we have already established the fact on why they prescribe us and what the, the prescription have cost us now that they are going for the release of mazen namikano what is your stake in regards to that move go ahead okay thank you thank you maz thank you very very much you know what no, we are not against any negotiation just like i have mentioned earlier that Mazenam Dekano did not even meet with the governors from DSS in 2017. He met, he met with the governors from his house. Yes. And that is the starting of negotiation. Somebody will not be in cage and you negotiate with him. But let me move forward. For, for them to say they, want for, to, they are going for his freedom is a welcome development, but what are they presenting? What are you presenting? Are you presenting, you know, because what they presented, we have seen what they presented. They said they are going, they, 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 I mean, they referred to their security summit 2023 20, September. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's what they are going to. That is to say they are going for freedom, they can, based on the security situation of their region. Not about what we gather here for. It is about the security of their region, their southeast security summit. So that is what they gather for. But what I am to put there, because in that very matter, there is a way we will be guiding the matter, just like I have told our people, and the, our first topic now related to it, I told our people it is a time to present who we are. It is a time to tell them why we gather. It is a time to remind them that the duty of ESM, it is a time to show them that your command, there is a leadership that leads us. It is a time to present our people they have killed, just as we have counted now how they killed us and how they disobey cut others, how they do many things, how they went to kill them, they can. So these are things we should be presenting for them to be aware that what we gather here first is to restore Biafra before the arrest of our people, which later they kidnap Mazenam Khan. That is matters arising and is always expected in freedom fighting. That mm -hmm. such thing occur does not stop the struggle. Okay. So what they are doing is to help for insecurity in their region. Insecurity in their region. And I have informed our people that only the leadership of IPOB will tell us if there is any talk going on because there was a time IPOB had discussion with Ohanese. IPOB informed us on Radio Biafra. They have talked and said we should cease fire for now. It is IPOB that will relate us. Everything we are hearing is rumor until the leadership relate us. But we must speak on the rumor because we are seeing the outcome, what they are throwing, those going for the negotiation, what they are throwing. I don't know if they are doing consultation or they are in the negotiation already because negotiation touches many things. The freedom yes. of our people from detention first, because they will hear the negotiation. Those yes. in detention will be free to hear what you are saying over their suffering. They will be free. Every other people, our prescription first, 
you the prescribe by IPOB first. That one first. Before we can come closer to you to discuss with you, because you cannot rob us sheets or something charcoal on our body. You say we sit for round table. It doesn't work. The first step of the governors is to the prescribe IPOB from their own side. I have given them brokers before and say the prescribe IPOB on your own. Leave the federal government own. We will not use your own to push them. You cannot prescribe us and federal and the federal government back it up. You will be calling for negotiation or peace of any kind without first of all make us that is remove that very tap on us first of all. Then people will begin to see light. We never see light. We never see anything. The light will yes. start from there. It will start from yes. there. There will be joy in homes first. Homes first. Mm -hmm. Homes that fall victim first. People start returning from detention. People start, we see that Abia have been released. Imo released. Enugu released. Anambra released. Everyone released everybody involved. Those in the north release them. Then people begin to see light. Because still, those do, that does not affect our struggle. Because when you come in as middleman, just like the politicians came, we expect it. But it, the final one will be with international body. But this one is that they are mediators, right? Though they will play ugly role, after all, it is their government. But our duty is to stand against anyone, whether from our people, whether from the north, whether from the west, and we stood them. So it is not a crime for them to fight you and you defeat them. Do you understand? They have to come in and quench the fire. But the way they are presenting it, I had apology, I had forgiveness, I had a pardon. I had to uh, 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 forgive his past action. I said, it is no negotiation. You don't condemn me before you present my matter. Because we have played draw. If it is a football, we play 90, 90 um, minutes. After 90 minutes, which is appeal court um, judgment. Then they said, no, we said, okay. They now added a certain time, which is Supreme Court. And we went to Supreme Court. We scored three goals. Nigeria scored one. One. Only one. They don't score anything. Three zero. No. Three zero. They don't score anything. I know they didn't score, but I just want to say they score. I know there is a way they just put their own agenda. Their own agenda is Latin American continue trial. But it was a poor pronouncement of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court uh, they condemned him when he was kidnapped. That now, is a arrested one. They condemned the invasion of his house by the army. They condemned the invocation of his bear by bear. the court. As they say, yes. you should continue trial. That is to say, the three pronouncements condemns his trial. Those three pronouncements is against his trial. They That's should right. not for that trial. But they took it as they took it as their own score. We said, okay, we have winning. We won you. We scored three. They said no. You control trial. Now at the end, they now say the governors, the politician now come in and say, let us end this game. Let us end this game. How do you end it? You end it by counting our three goals for Nigeria. You want to count it and give it to them. If Nigeria do not accept our goals, then let the match become draw. Then let us play, play penalty, which is referendum. Let, let us play penalty, which is referendum. But what these people are presenting now is like they want to count our goals for Nigeria. Even if Nigeria do not believe in our scores, they don't believe in the goal. They say the goal should be cancelled. Then that is we can take it that we play draw, which is referendum. We want middleman to come in, but not in a way that you keep us low before the negotiation. We cannot be low. We cannot be low. It is now equal. Nigeria took out as junior people, they can defeat us, they can deal with us. Now we have come equal with them. We are state actors, they are a government, and you don't discuss our matter as ordinary people. We are state actors, and you must present us equal with Nigeria, even though they are sovereign state, because they refuse to play seniority by sending army to kill us during peaceful protests. If we can stood that very time, we have become equal with them. Had they shown seniority or took out as their children, then they would have sent civil defense to confront us during our protests. So what they showcase was that we do not deserve to leave, and we say we were supposed to leave, and at the end, we have maintained it. We defeated the governor's plan. We defeated this everybody's plan. We defeated the Nigerian plan. This very time is not a time to keep us behind. 
it is a time to show us that at least these people have tried. If not for anything, they have tried. Let me free those in detention. Before any governor will say we gather, even as they gathered the other day, this morning, what we are supposed to hear is how the state government has freed the IPOB members in their detention. Even from that, their um, community, they will say, we are demanding from IPOB all the list of their members in our detention in different states. We demand it from IPOB. It should be in their community, after all, that this state governor should start releasing our people first. First governor kept us in detention. You inherited seats, and you are seeing our cases there, and you did not arrest us. And you leave it, you go and discuss Freedom, they can't. It doesn't yet fruit. Charity begins at noon. Can I come in? Can I come in? You be in your state? If you feel that you are Okay, okay. Mas, Mas, you see, Sorry. you are in line. If you go to the water, you go to the water. Now, in the freedom fighting, I want to throw this light into what you are saying. Yeah. The head, the head of that, the leader of that freedom fighting represents every other person following them. So, so, what is about to happen is this, from my own understanding and perspective, the freedom of Mazin Namdekano gives every other IPOB member everywhere in Nigeria prison or anywhere in Nigeria cells free. free. Yes. That is Thank how it's, it's an automatic thing. Thank it, it works like a person automatic. So uh, that is what, what you have to know. Because if you expect the governors to begin to free people when Mazin Namdekano have not been set free, it will look like they don't know what they are doing. I'm telling you this from the from the truth side of it, and from my own side of understanding. The Thank reason you. I'm saying, you know that you know that um, um, what do you call him? Um, um, this man from South Africa, Mandela, was not the only person arrested. Are you aware? They are also arrested some of his party members, and all of them, some of them that was with Mandela. The moment Mandela was declared, not only Mandela, maybe they here, but the people who spend that same year with Mandela. The moment Mandela is free, every other person is free. So that is what I want to throw in. So continue, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. That is this. So that is why I told our people that we should be throwing out our own. We should be throwing out our own and so that nobody will say you did not remind them. That is why we pick out these things and throw it out and remind them that this is in line in case they will claim that they are not aware. This is in line with what we are working on. So what we are saying now is that negotiation is important when two people are fighting. We shouted, we shouted out that middleman should come in. But the middleman coming in should not undermine what actually led to the kidnapping of the man, which is the struggle. And this, our presentation was referendum. And it's still referendum. So you are discussing about how to frame them they can very very important a welcome development that ipob has said this matter has ended the stage in Africa, and nigeria said no this thing should go on and discuss let's all discuss because there is no more for that there should not be any further trial on them they can it is a time to discuss but what we what we are we are talking why we are putting mouth in this matter is that we don't as we don't actually know what they are doing from the voice we are hearing, from the messages we are hearing, we are not getting it in, getting it in line with what we are supposed to say, but we have not concluded yet. What we are saying is that Regina will always come from the leadership of IPOB if there is anything that concerns us or our struggle. But as it stands now, it still concerns us because they are discussing about our leader. But officially, the leadership will signal up if there is something they are discussing or if they are involved or we are involved even if it is not in okay. public but in another way in a normal way of ipob thank you okay thank you Mazi. now let me come in here you know i like history a lot and i deal with history yes and anybody that forgets the past event that has happened so we are similar to what is happening to you. If you don't look to it, see how it, it is done or it is treated, then you may make more mistakes. We don't have anything 
to hold now or believe now, not until we see Mazen Nam Dekanu declared free. A man in a cage cannot discuss for his people's freedom. Let this message go to all the governors. Because, because we them. They, they are jumping up. We just told yes. them. Yes. So, because I want to say this. I remember my discussion with the, the governor of Anambra State, Charles Soludo. I know he's going to watch this program. He knows me one-on-one. -on -one. He knows me very well. I remember what I discussed with him. And I haven't said it before, but I'm going to say it now on this platform as they ought. When he hasn't, when he hasn't become governor, he called me because he had my number. I don't know how he got my number anyway, but he called me. He said, "What is IPOB fighting for? Can he help you vote? Your governor, you are going to watch this program, and I want you to. I want to remind you of what you say to me. I can." Not lie against you, I will say how it is. That you are a governor today does not mean that you will remain governor forever. You will go out, and that person may be there. That is if Nigeria continues to live. But let the word that comes out of out of your mouth be vis revisited. You, you said you asked me what did IPOB want? What did what, what do we want? I discussed with you for like three hours that very day. The court will call you. Uh, the, the call will call you. Call me again. I told you that we are fighting for the freedom of our people. You ask me, is it in Nigeria or outside Nigeria? Then I told you, I said, sir. I used to call you prof, uh, 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 professor. I said, prof, it is outside. What you are asking, talking about is outright freedom outside Nigeria. You, you, you told me, said no, that you like what we are doing but you want us to do it in nigeria that you want a biafra in nigeria so that we will have a wider spread of business uh, business cooperation and what have you then i told you that georgia malta i made mention of about three countries in europe that as that that, 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 that the population are as small as anambra state where you come from if you're talking of landmass, you are talking of population. Anambra State, go and check the, the, the population of Anambra State. You go to Europe, you will see Lichesta is very, very small in population compared to Anambra State. I told you, forget about population. These people do not like us. What we want is our freedom. We want to we want to control our destiny, our future. We want to determine our, our future. We want to make law in our own dialect, in our own language, rule ourselves, and bring out that which will come and deposit it into, into us. You were telling me that what you, Charles Oludo, wanted was Biafra in, inside Nigeria. That is your opinion. I don't have any issue with that. Because when people see that governors are going to see Mazen Nankan, there are more to it that you may not know. And it's not everything that I know that I may come outside here to say. So, the government that I have spoken to that I know actually want restructuring of Nigeria, according to him. He wants Nigeria to be restructured. He wants regional system of government. He even opted to say, even if we are going to answer Biafra as our own region, say there's no problem about that. Mas, Madam, which I don't know if you are with me. The reason why yes, I'm saying I'm this is because, thank you. The reason why I'm saying this is because he is one of the people that are that are opting for Mazen Nankan to be free. He have actually want to see Mazen Nankan. I respect you for that. He also asked that the uh, Nigerian government should hand Mazen Nankan over to him, which I thought it. I said no, such a thing cannot happen. There's no how they will give you Mazen Nankan. Mazen Nankan is not a baby. If they are releasing Mazen Nankan, Mazen Nankan is going to IPOB where he is the leader, not to any governor individual. That is what. That was when they were talking about Bell. You want to sign the Bell of Mazen and Kano. Even uh, what do you call him, uh, um, uh, former governor of Abuja State, Tojo Zokalo, also opted that he, that they should hand it Mazen and Kano over to him, so that he will sign for Mazen and Kano's uh, uh, this thing Bell. And we told them that there's nothing like Bell here. We are not talking about Bell here. We are talking about unconditional release of Mazen and Kano, not Bell. Not Bell. We are not talking of Bell. You are not taking Mazen Nankan out of Nigeria government as Bell. The court of Nigeria government of 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 of, um, of um, uh, 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 um, what do you call it? Supreme um, Appeal Court 
pronounced Mazenan Khan a free man and gave an order that he shouldn't be tried. No court can try him anywhere in Nigeria. You understand? So, this is what happened. And we are holding that judgment so tight and so dear. We do not want to leave that judgment. Even what, as much as the evangelists have said, as even when we went to uh, to the Supreme Court, Supreme Court condemned the kidnapping of Mazen Nanikano from Kenya. Supreme Court condemned the invasion of Mazen Nanikano's uh, palace. Supreme Court condemned the revocation of Mazen Nanikano bear. So what? Why didn't the Supreme Court say now that all this has happened, like this, Mazen Nanikano go as a free man? They say he should go back for trial. How can you be trying somebody that you have broken international law that you signed? You want to try the same person in the same country where you went and signed agreements with international court, with the world powers, and you, you, you broke the law, and you want to try the person that you, you, you went to kidnap from, from their country in, in your own court again, after condemning that what they did to the man is wrong. So why? It is wrong. So now, let me deal uh, 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 my brother Mazi, uh, Madabu Chuku, the his location, the network is not allowing him to do the needful. So he may not join me again, but however, I appreciate him because he's a good man and he have done uh, excellently well in this particular program. You guys know that we are in a zoo, so the network is not stable. It's shaky every time, off and on, off and on. But I'm still here because uh, as in the heart, Masumi and Etokan. So now, the governors of Eastern region who have committed this crime have, have left. They waited for them. They made sure that these people who have committed this crime of, of, of uh, prescribing IPOB have left office. They waited for other people to take over so that they will not begin to talk about negotiation. But they used those years to fight to see if they can break IPOB. They used it to see if they can destroy IPOB. They used it to see if they can weaken a lot of us, but upon all their trials to destroy IPOB from the inside, they failed woefully. They tried from our on the on, on our finance, they couldn't succeed. They tried on our leadership, they couldn't succeed. They tried on our media, they couldn't succeed. They tried anything tryable, they couldn't succeed. And the Muslim Nam the still telling them. You cannot try me here and you cannot jail me. When Mazenan Khan told Buhari that you are not educated enough to jail me, you can't jail me. He meant business. So when you want to talk about negotiation, the negotiation will start from freely Mazenan Khan first. The negotiation must start from free Mazenan Khan, setting Mazenan Khan free, just as their own courts have declared. If you don't free Mazin Nanikan, how can someone who is under your captive, under your captivity, be discussing about the freedom of his people? Only they will have freedom. On a job freedom, only also. It can happen good here. Any discussion, why is you holding Mazin Nanikan with you people? It's called Kenyana uh, Ozia. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Dures. And the IPOB leadership must be involved in any discussion, any negotiation. Don't forget Igilla. Prophet Igilla told them, negotiate now. Negotiate now. Because time shall come. You will see that this man that you people are holding, there are small, I saw him moving as a small puppy. I see jackals. I see tiger. I see leopard. I see lion. I see different white animals following him. They have seen it. That who Holding Mazen and Nikano have also brought downfall to them. The economy of Nigeria started going down the moment Mazen and Nikano was kidnapped in 2015. Was arrested 2015. Multinational companies have left Nigeria because of the, 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 the economy meltdown in Nigeria because they are holding Mazen and Nikano. Let me remind you people, have you forgotten? When locusts invaded the farmland of one of the states, I don't know if it's in Taraba or in, or in, or in Kebi State. And ate everything they, that they planted, locust. That was a plague. It 
It was a big plague that before them, when they, when they arrested Mazen Amikano. Do you know how many companies that have left Nigeria since they hold Mazen Amikano? And other companies are threatening to leave. Now, let me shock the world. Some of us are believing that it is full of hedge money that are holding Mazen Amikano only. Some are believing that it's British that are holding Mazen Amikano. Let me shock you. The multinational oil companies have hand in Mazen Namdekano's kidnap, in case you don't know. All these oil companies, if no, 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 they also have hand in Mazen Namdekano's kidnap. Yes, they do. Because their interest is the oil. And Mazen Namdekano have exposed them that even uh, Shell, Shell, the budget of Shell is bigger than the budget of Nigeria as a country. And Shell is richer than Nigeria as a, as, as a company. Mazenan can have said all this. So they knew that it's not going to be free as they used to do. So they are also joining hand in making sure that Mazenan Kano did not leave that place untouched. But the truth is that they cannot touch him. I have told them times with that number that Mazenan Kano is untouchable. I said it on this platform. Even when Mazen Nandikano was newly kidnapped, even when Mazen Nandikano haven't got, uh, gone to court to get any justice at all, on this last kidnap they, they gave to him, I told you that they cannot do anything to him. Look at Asari Dokubo who came out and be shouting, hey, I will smoke him out, I will do this, I will do that, he is this, he is that. Is Asari still talking? Asari is no longer talking. The people that paid him to do all those, you know, uh, cyber stalking and what have you against Mazen and Kano, they are no longer paying him. As I as so we as now, he want to now let the whole world know that he's Imo. Because nobody fought, nobody fight against Mazen and Kano and remain the same. You fight against him, you are fighting against the spirit of over 80 something million people. And the, the spirit of over 7 to 8 million people that have died because of this cause. They will come for you. Nobody. So looking at the situation on the ground, these governors that are that just have this communique say, claiming that they want to go for Mazen Namikano's uh, free freedom. It is a good move, but I want to correct them and I want to put them in a chronological order before they go. First and foremost, let it be in your in your agenda that Mazen Namikano cannot negotiate anything without the IPOB uh, uh, leadership. It can never happen. Governors cannot, they cannot negotiate for us. Because in their mind, they think that if they go now, they will say, okay, what is the negotiation? Let us sit uh, on a round table and negotiate with Mazi because of the insecurity going on. Because some enemies have hijacked, uh, non, they, 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 they did not hijack. They use the, 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 the opportunity of Mazen Nankan absence to be committing crime, kidnapping people, killing people, doing all those things, making our land very, very hot. So they should put it in writing that number one, this IPOB leadership that Mazen Nankan left behind, that have held this, this struggle so tight, will be involved in any discussion. Very important. You cannot do without them. No governor can negotiate for us. Because they are governors for Nigeria for Nigeria government. We are indigenous people of Biafra now. We get land. And we are the people fighting for the freedom of our of our people. Don't forget that when they ask Mazen and Kan what you want, Mazen gave them a list. You have to open every seaport in Biafra land. You have to finish building Second Niger Bridge. You have to build East West Road. You have to finish on the Enugu Expressway. You have to finish Enugu Aba Protocol Expressway. You have to build hospitals. You have to give us steady power supply. When you do all these things, then give us, finally give us two bucks for referendum. Vote for Nigeria or vote for Biafra. If my people come and vote for Biafra, then you leave, you let us go. If they vote for if they vote for Nigeria, then I will not talk about it again. That is why Pa Mbazurika Mbechi of the Blessed Memory told them the, the only way you can shut Mazen Man come up, the only way, it is only one way, is to is through. Uh, a precipit, precipit, which is 
referendum. You can't shut him up without a referendum. If you if you, if you, if you place a referendum before the people of Biafra, let them decide if they want to go with you or not. So it is the people that are fighting for the struggle that will discuss about the struggle and talk about the negotiation, not the governors who even who even hate Mazenanikan because Mazenanikan and Malago Horalaro. Any governor that think otherwise should put that home in his state and watch if people will, will listen to him. They cannot. Nobody will listen to you. But if IPOB says sit at home, you have an owner. People are still sitting every Monday in Southeast today because of Mazen and the Kano. Willingly. Willingly. Forget about, about Ndo Tepelima that came out and throw, they will come and kill somebody and run away. And I mean, we come in that community, begin to kill innocent people. Look at what happened in Aba, where they went, where the, the military planned for themselves and killed kill our brothers there. And they, when they came to claim responsibility, so my brothers and my sisters, having said this, we know that the governors are not happy with Mazen Namdekano because Mazen Namdekano is the voice that is speaking for every indigenous person in Nigeria, even in Africa. In case you don't know, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali. They are fighting to liberate themselves from the Western colonial masters because they are listening to Radio Biafra. In case you don't know it today, the outcome of what they are seeing in all these places is as a result of what Mazenan cannot have implanted into their mind. You just imagine that no one who hope Mazenan can match up on a God for the battle. We will not, we will not take it easy with anybody. We won't take it easy. It's going to be outright, yeah, dead world way. It is impossible. Cannot go. So, Nigeria government, whether they are begging you people or they are not begging you people, what we want is obey your court order. Your court says, free Mazen and the Kano, that they declare that they are free Mazen and the Kano unconditionally, without any strength attached. When you free Mazen and the Kano, then the next thing you do is to call for negotiation. And as a free Mazen Namikano, every other IPOB member that you are holding in OYA, OYA or whatever, is free. And IPOB, the name IPOB being proscribed, should be deproscribed. It should be cancelled automatically. If we want to talk about our freedom, we have the right to talk about our freedom. So far, we are not carrying, uh, we are not uh, uh, carrying gun, shooting or killing anybody. No. We are only peaceful agitators asking for our freedom. So, the only way all this will work is by letting Mazen Namdekano free first. Then we, you call for negotiation. And then negotiation, what we are asking for is dates for referendum. Anybody may be talking about uh, restructuring of Nigeria. I, Mazen became. I didn't condemn it in total. But I am asking and supporting referendum. Referendum is what we want. Give us dates that we may know if we really belong here or not. And on this note, I want to appreciate each and every one of you that have shared this program. Those of you that share this program, which will carry more, continue to bless you. Mazen Nandekano is coming as soon. Not by the intervention of the governors from the Southeast, but by the intervention, by the virtue of what IPOB leadership and IPOB across the globe have done. In Okwalia, they cannot take that glory. It can't go to them. They are, right now, they are incapacitated. They are handicapped. Only if I had given Mazen Nandikan, the moment Mazen Nandikan come out of that place, only one broadcast everywhere. They open the drain. Only a new man, I'm running in the place with Oyosha Murgos. Because people are not using three Mazen Nandikan when they're Zoshi, when they kidnap them, but when they're not in the Madego. If Mazen Nankan is a free man today. There will be no excuse to go and arrest or to go and kidnap anybody or to go to a community that lost their beloved ones and be collecting money from them. Calling it ego, 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 take over. We couldn't take over. Ndoshi, ndoshi. So the freedom of Mazenam Mikano is going to bring unity. It's going to bring peace. It's going to bring harmony. It's going to bring oneness in our land. And that is freedom. Is the freedom of each and every one of us. And on that note, 
want to say kachuko kabi ya mapuli miheni ne gozi ngoke gozi ngai gozi onyuku gozi nyenta gozi ndeni ne bunde na abamba makamuru ngai ne zimwa do biwa chani ne paka diu ni na maneke diu na manuri diu na manafa diu na manangu akambwa nuno ngoke mazi opaleze chuk 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 that Mazi Evangelist was on this platform and he did excellently well. Please, I want you to type thank you, Mazi Evangelist, on the comment section before I close this program. Thank you, Mazi Evangelist. That is what I want to see before I close the program because he did well and he's a good man. You'll be seeing us converging in one's platform. Maybe tomorrow someone else may call me his platform. I will go, I will speak. Tomorrow, Mazi, uh, Mazi may also call me. I will go. I mean, Mazi Evangelist may invite me to his platform. I will go and I will talk to their friends. We are one people. We are only fighting against our enemy, not against ourselves. That is why I, on this platform, I see the heart. That's how they type, that's how they talk. Thank you very much for watching. I remain your brother, Mazi. I believe it will be